All right, guys, we got a three minute warm up for you. We're starting with arm circles for 15 seconds in each direction. Julie's going to take tiny little circles to warm up the shoulders and the arms, and then 15 seconds in the opposite direction. Moving right on to a standing star reach, full extension through the arms, reach opposite toe to opposite foot, trying to keep that back nice and elongated. We have one minute here. Your next one is a forward lunge, alternating with an overhead reach. So really trying to stretch through the hip flexor as she steps forward on the opposite side and getting that long reach up to the sky. One minute here, and then finally, Jack twists. She's jumping side to side. Her feet are twisting 45 degrees in either direction as her chest stays forward. You guys have three minutes. Let's warm up. First up is a hip hinge high row. We're going to grab your two objects. We're going to bend over, push your hips back, make sure your palms are facing you. Exhale as you bring your objects up. Next one, we're going to place one object down. We're going to come down to one knee and perform an overhead tricep extension. So both hands on one end of your object, keep both elbows as close to your head as possible. Exhale on the way up, control it as you bring it back down. Next up, we're going to keep on holding on to that one object and perform a split stance single arm reverse fly. So one leg is back um, and one arm is slightly bent. So we're simply going to act like we are releasing a hug with that one arm. Exhale on the way up. Last one is a tricep push up. So we're going to come down to the ground. Key here is to keep your elbows tucked in closely to your side. Exhale as you push yourself up. Once again, draw the belly button into your spine. Keep your core engaged. Let's get to work, fam. Hey!
All right, guys, we got some high reps in this next block coming up, starting with 50 chair hop overs. So Javi's going to grab the edge of his chair and pretend like he's hopping over a bench, pulling those feet up towards the glutes. Every tap down is one rep. 50 total. I'm dropping down to now 40 reps of a static crunch with a heel touch. Laying on his back, he's going to lift his chest up off the ground and pretend like there's a little orange underneath his chin. Every tap to the heel is one rep. You have 40 total here. Next, we got mummy kicks for 30. So we're going to crisscross right in front of ourselves as he kicks forward. So every time he kicks forward, those arms cross for 30. Wide mountain climber is next. You got 20. Hands go directly under those shoulders. Make sure you set up a beautiful plank position just like he did. And then foot comes the outside of the pinky, switching feet every single time. 20 total, every tap is one rep. And you have a chair tap jump squat. This is going to be for 10 total, exploding out of there. Make sure you're not putting any weight into the chair. You're just using it as a guide to see how low you can get. Last one, Superman. It's going all the way down the floor, full extension through the legs and the toes. We're going to lift slightly off and slow and control on the way back down. Repeat these until time is called. Let's go ahead and get started.
All right, guys, we get a four minute block for you. Three exercises to work through, starting with a plank alternating single arm low row. Carl's going to get into a plank position to start and then row his dumbbell or whatever he has into his hip. Slow and controlled release down. Nothing moves but the arm. 12 reps here, and then we're going to flip it on over to an ISO hip bridge pullover. So, ISO hip bridge, hips are in line with the spine and everything's holding nice and tight. Those arms are extended long. They're going to stay extended as he reaches in front and reaches as far back as he can for 12 total. Last one, sprinter sit up, 12 total. So, reaching opposite arm to opposite leg quick up to the top slow and control on the way back down your goal is about two rounds here let's go ahead and get started Orange Nation, you put in some good work. Now it's time to bring the heart rates down and stretch out those muscles a little bit. We got a flexibility block for you. 
First up is a standing single arm overhead side reach. We're simply going to bring one arm up, extend it, and then reach over as far as you can to the opposite side. We're going to hold that for 20 seconds and then switch sides. Next one is a tricep reach. So we're simply going to bring one hand behind the head and we're going to pull that elbow towards the center. Make sure you pull strongly enough so that we feel a slight bit of discomfort. That's how you know you're getting the most out of it. Last one, that seated straddle. We're going to come down to the ground. We're going to spread your feet as far apart as you can. And we're going to bring both hands to one ankle. We're going to hold it there. Bring your chest as close to your thigh as possible. And then after that, we'll simply switch over to the other side. Once again, great job for the work that you put in. Make sure to maintain a good amount of flexibility.